Rodney Bue's death The Likely Lads star Rodney Bue's has died aged 79, a week before his birthday. The actor, best known for his role as Bob Ferris in the 60s BBC sitcom and its 70s sequel, Whatever Happened to the Likely Lads, died on Tuesday morning, a representative told the Press Association. His agent Michelle Braidman described him as a true one-off in a statement on Twitter. It is with great sadness that we confirm that our dear client, the much-loved actor Rodney Buse, passed away this morning. Rodney was a true one-off. We will miss his charm and ready wit. Pick.twitter.com a 6 shout to Anne, Michelle Braidman Associates at Team Braidman November 21, 2017 She added, it is with great sadness that we confirm that our dear client, the much-loved actor Rodney Buse, passed away this morning. We will miss his charm and ready wit. Buse, 79, would have turned 80 on November 27 and is survived by his four children, Billy, Joe, Tom, and Daisy, and two grandchildren Oscar and Eliza. As Bob, he would often ponder the merits of Beer and Birds opposite James Bolam who played lovable sponger, Terry Collier in the sitcom, and its sequel which drew audiences of up to 27 million. But off-screen the pair endured a stormy relationship with them eventually. Not speaking for decades, Brigitte Forsyth, as Bob's fiancée and eventual girlfriend, also featured in the series which drew stars such as Joan Hickson, Bill Owen, Christopher Biggins, and Anita Carey as recurring cast members. In 1984 he earned a Doctor Who credit for a leading role during Peter Davison's run as the Time Lord. He portrayed a humanoid named Steen in Resurrection of the Daleks which aired during the sci-fi show's 21st series. Gutted to hear that Rodney Buse has passed away. Always hoped against hope that he and James Bolan would patch things up and wed get one. Last Likely Lads special, with Bob and Terry in the golden years. Not to be very sad. Rest in peace. Kida. Pick.twitter.com Moun 1 April, Morgan Jeffrey at Morgan Jeffrey November 21, 2017 Buse was born in Bingley, Yorkshire, and childhood asthma meant he was confined to the house until the age of 12 but two years later he secured his first professional role and he eventually went to London to study drama at Rada. In later life he lived in Henley-on-Thames and Olympic champion. Rower Matthew Pinsent shared a memory of the star from the town. He wrote on Twitter, Rip Rodney Buse. Rowers will remember him sitting on the booms at Henley and his at London cab blazer, clapping every crew past. Every one, every day, Rodney Buse has died. What a dreadful bit of news. CR, Kidder, pick.twitter.com's Moves Eve, Danny Baker at Prodnos November 21. 2017 comedian Jack D also paid tribute, writing on Twitter, Rip Rodney Buse. Likely lads one of the great sitcoms. Fellow comic Mitch Ben posted, Rodney Buse's gun and I can't stand the confusion in my mind. Rip, actress. Annabelle Giles starred alongside Buse in a pantomime and remembered him as, brilliant, naughty and very funny. She added, he, adored his children and the saint of Daphne. His stories were wonderful. He was a bad but adorable influence on all who knew him, and I'm so sorry he's gone. Writer and radio DJ Danny Baker wrote, Rodney Buse has died. What a dreadful bit of news. CR, Kidder, Press Association follower at Indoents.